Well, I think that clinical decision support in its own right has the opportunity to improve patient outcomes as long as the decision support algorithm is based upon one, a national standard, and two, you know, has the proven ability to generate positive outcomes for patient in terms of driving appropriate imaging. So for example, in the context of the ACR Select product, that clinical decision support to drive appropriate imaging uh, for patients, the patient outcome is clear in the, uh, and in the form of one, access to the right exam opposite the their clinical scenario, and two, um, having that right exam uh, has a direct impact on length of stay and readmission rate for the hospital. Well, the world is a complex place, and you know the number and complexity of modalities and exam possibilities and combination is, is mind-boggling. And having the ability to be an expert in all of those areas opposite a patient's condition is very, very challenging for an ordering physician when they're not in the medical specialty of imaging. So by having access to a decision support tool, it can provide them the guidance ba based upon the combined knowledge, again, of uh, the American College of Radiology to the right set of procedures opposite the patient condition. And so from that perspective, there's a, there's a strong benefit in helping them understand the environment and navigate it more appropriately. Uh, the other piece of the puzzle uh, relates to uh, interaction with payers, particularly if there's a pre-authorization model involved that involves a, a radiology benefits management company. There's a significant overhead in communication, which takes them away from their patient and, 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 and it's a drag on their workflow. By being able to perform the process electronically and in consultation with the radiologist, they have the benefit of, of being able to do that in real time without any overhead whatsoever. Well, everybody in the healthcare economy today is focused on value. And I think the referring population to the radiologist is even more so focused on value ahead of where the radiology uh, environment is. And so consequently, by one, focusing on the fact that the radiology has an aligned incentive with their ordering physician pop population and they're going to help them achieve their goals is, I think, the strongest argument towards uh, making decision support viable. I think the other piece of the puzzle is helping these referring physicians manage the risk. So a lot of inappropriate exams occur as a byproduct of wanting to do defensive medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, they order extra tests, unnecessary tests, simply to uh, uh, protect themselves. And having the radiologist involved in that consultation indicating that this exam isn't inappropriate, when it's driven by defensive medicine, the radiologist can also help the ordering physician share the risk. And clinical decision support becomes a platform by which that medical uh, decision is documented.